Hello everyone and welcome to Long's Toys. I have a Power Rangers Dino Supercharge review for you today. Now I'm not exactly quite sure what to call this because the way the Supercharge figures were released is kind of weird. I don't know if it's all the same wave and they're different assortments. If we've seen like a wave 1, 2, and 3 all back to back. It's kind of just been like ever since Christmas we've just been getting flooded with stuff. I mean there was the Spinozord and the Black T-Rex. Then there's all these figures. I mean, it's just all kinds of crazy stuff. So I'm just going to kind of call this supercharged figures and I'll list out the figures or something like that. Because Wave 1 was like the Dino Steel version of the Rangers where they came with the individual weapons plus Snide and T-Rex supercharged Red Ranger. Um, I decided to pass on the Dino Steel for right now just because I already have the regular figures and Dino Steel didn't really interest me all that much, just like I never bought the Dino Drive figures. Um, Wave 2 had the Aqua Ranger and the Purple Ranger, as well as a couple repackaged figures like, um, Fury and Sledge and I think Puzzle Master or the Maze Guy, whatever his technical name is. Um, and then the next wave has kind of had the Dino Drive figures repackaged with the Plesio Charge Megazord figure, and I think they're also going to do Dino Drive versions of Gold and Graphite, and I think someone just cited at a Walmart Dino Drive versions of Aqua and Purple. So stuff is just trickling out. It just won't stop. So I'm not really certain if these are all Wave 1 of Super Dino or Dino Supercharge, or if it's like Wave 1, Wave 2, Wave 3, or if they're just different assortments. I'm not really sure because they are repackaging a lot of older figures. But in any case, for the purposes of this review, we'll be taking a look at these five figures. So, first up you have Snide, who I think looks pretty excellent. I'll try to zoom in on these bios here, so if you'd like to take a look, go ahead and read the bio. Okay. Next up we have the Aqua Ranger, which is probably the one that I'm most excited about just because I really love this color blue. I think it looks fantastic. If you'd like to go ahead, read the bio. You'll notice they did not really give away the identity of the Ranger with the bio like they kind of have done in the past. Here is the Purple Ranger, which if, you've, if you're current with the show, you already know the identity of the Purple Ranger, but again, they did not give it away in the bio. Next up, we have the T-Rex Supercharged Red Ranger, which if you're familiar with Kyoyuja, this was called the Carnival Form. If you'd like to go ahead, the bio is very short. Let's see if I can get a little bit closer, because that one's really tiny. There you go. And then, last but certainly not least, we have the Plesio Charge Megazord figure, which I just found at a Toys R Us near me today. Very excited to find that. And then we'll zoom in here if you'd like to take a look at the picture and the bio. So there you go. We'll go ahead, we'll get these figures out of the package, and we'll take a closer look. First up here we have Snide. I think he looks pretty good. I wish there was... the only paint app I'm really missing is this kind of crest here on his head. Would have really liked that to be silver. I mean, I understand why they didn't. At least they kind of painted the jewel here in the middle. I'll zoom in a little bit so you can take a closer look. So, I mean, I like the eye. I like the mouth. It's just the whole head seems a little plain. Just painting that crest would have really made it pop. Uh, otherwise, the paint on the chest looks fantastic. Nice kind of metallic blue. And then this is kind of like a Sarlacc pit mouth or something here on the chest. Not really sure what that is. But it almost looks like there's like a smaller entity like if these are eyes on his chest here. Um, now for those who watched uh, Dino Thunder, I believe this is uh, supposed to be like a Neo Zeltrax. I'm not sure what his name was in the Sentai, but uh, in Japan uh, they did a movie for Kyo Ryuji, which was the Japanese version of Dino Charge, what the, what the footage from Dino Charge is taken from. And it was a team up of all the past dinosaur teams. So it was Dino Thunder over here in America, Abba Ranger over there, and uh, the original Power Rangers, which was G Ranger over there. So the three dino teams got together and they had kind of like a Neo Goldar, which I believe is Gryphazor in Japan. And then they had like a Neo Zeltrax, which I do not remember his Sentai uh, name. But in any case, that is what this figure is, I believe. They pulled this character from the movie and decided to incorporate him somehow into the American footage, which I'm excited to see when uh, Supercharge returns late January. 
But overall, I think this is a really nice figure. It's got good articulation. Head moves from side to side. Shoulder pads can hinge up and down so as not to get in the way of the shoulder articulation, which is kind of a swivel and hinge. So you get the hinge up and down, and then you can swivel all around. You got 90 degrees at the elbow. Nothing in the waist. Uh, but you do have at the hips kind of the same joint as the shoulder where you can uh, out to the side but also front to back. Although he does have kind of a butt skirt so you can see it's limited there a little bit. Uh, but then you have pretty much 90 degrees in the knee. So nothing in the ankle. But I think it's a really nice figure. I really do like it a lot. He comes with one accessory which is this sword. Which again would have been nice to see some paint on the sword but I understand why that doesn't happen. Pops in his hand very nice and snugly but very easily pop in, which I appreciate. Uh, yeah, I think it's a great looking figure. I like this character. I'm excited that they kind of made a figure of him, that they plucked him from that movie footage. I mean, other than, you know, one or two more paint apps, I think this guy's pretty perfect. Oh, I did want to show off the back. The back is, uh, pretty plain. But there's some nice molded in detail, just no paint on the back. But I get it. I completely understand that. But yeah, just one or two more paint apps in this guy would be fantastic. All right, so here is the T-Rex Supercharge Red Ranger, which I have to say, I think they did a really nice job with the paint apps on this guy. You can see they skimped a little bit uh, on the cuffs and the arms kind of right here, but they, they put it in where it counts, which is definitely the chest and the legs. I think that's definitely the most important place to have it. I mean, just looking on, you can see the eyes of the T-Rex, kind of the snout and the mouth. I think it looks fantastic. Did a great job with the paint apps. I love the little tuft of hair on the top of the helmet which they painted nicely. You have the yellow here. Just a really nice overall job. Not a whole lot of paint on the back, but it's not really needed on the back. I understand they had to skimp somewhere because they really did a nice job on the front here. Otherwise, pretty much same articulation as the figure you would expect from a Ranger. Same kind of joint in the shoulder. It's hindered just slightly by the shoulder pads, but I mean, it's not that big a deal. 90 degrees at the elbow. I Oh, the cuffs do turn. Okay, fantastic. We're basically the white piece where the colors change. That's a separate piece that turns. Same over here. Nothing in the waist, but you do have the hips. Very similar to the shoulders. 90 degrees at the knee, and then you have the boot cuff turn right there. So, I absolutely love this figure. I think they did a great job. The paint on the chest and the front of the legs is what counts, and it looks great. He does come with a tiny little... Super T-Rex Morpher gun. Pops very nicely in his hand. He holds it very well. So, get some cool poses. Overall, I think this figure looks fantastic. Here we have the Purple Ranger, which you can see is the smaller female uh, figure, very similar to the Pink Ranger. But I have to say, she looks really good. Has the kind of plesio crest there. I'll try to zoom in and get a closer look at that. You can see that there it looks pretty good nice job on the helmet i think it's a really nice touch to have the green eyes painted looks very good same articulation as kind of the pink ranger where you have the you know normal shoulder joint you have the 90 degrees at the elbow the uh, glove cuff there's a rotation there uh, you do have articulation in the hips but unfortunately because of the hard molded skirt it really really hinders it to the point that it might as well not have it, but you do have 90 degrees at the knee, and you have the swivel of the boot cuff. But overall, she does look good. She comes, of course, with two weapons, the morpher gun and the sword, and they can fit into either hand, like so. This hand is a little bit smaller, but once you get it in there, she will hold it. So there you go. Pretty much very, very similar to the Pink Ranger, but purple. And different dino up here on the crest. But I still think she looks great. I'm happy to have her. I don't know if they'll ever make, like, a male Purple Ranger, since that guy was in one episode. I would imagine no. I would assume this is what we're getting. But very happy with this. Like it a lot. Very happy to add her to the team. Here is the Aqua Ranger. This is the one I was most excited for, and he does not disappoint. I just really love this color blue. The gold here in the midsection is painted very nicely. And you can see the Ankylo uh, picture here on the crest. Looks great. The helmet looks fantastic with the little red painted eyes. 
Really, really happy with this figure. He looks fantastic. Same articulation points as anyone else. Swivel in the neck, hinge and swivel on the shoulders, 90 degree elbow, cuffs, hips, knees, everyone. It's the same as any other Ranger figure, but he looks absolutely fantastic. I really love the color of this. The paint is well done. Not too much going on in the back, but same as any other Ranger, so nothing to complain about there. The blue and the gold on the front is just really, really sharp, and he just looks absolutely incredible. He comes with the same two weapons that all the other Rangers come with, which I will get into his hands. There we go. A little bit of a tight fit. Come on, buddy. He wants to hold this gun. Come on. No, he doesn't want to hold it? I think he does. There we go. Oh, you know what? Just wants to make me look bad on camera. I see how it is. There we go. It can be done. Once you get him in there, he will hold them. Just the first time, it's a little bit troublesome. But I love this figure. I love the colors. The paint's really well done. Great articulation. Must have. Last but certainly not least is the Plesio Charge Megazord figure. I have to say, I think this guy is my favorite of the Megazord figures to date. I just really love the color scheme. He doesn't really have any paint going on in the back, which I understand, but a lot of molded in detail. I mean, you can even see they molded in where like this would normally split for the face for the combination with the T-Rex. You can see his extra hand is molded onto the back there. So really nice attention to detail, even though they didn't paint any of it, which I completely understand. Still a lot of nice molded detail on there, which is pretty cool. Coming around to the front, the head is painted very, very nicely. You can see the green eyes with the red and the gold. Chest is painted nicely. Uh, I think the, the nicest thing here is the inclusion of all the paint down here on the arm. Where they painted the Plesio head. Purple with the green eye. Looks very nice. So zoom back out a little bit here. Whoop. Articulation wise, head moves from side to side. The shoulder can only swivel up and down. It does not have like a up, you know, in and out like a normal shoulder, but it can swivel here where the uh, kind of dark blackish color meets the white. So there's a swivel there. Plus you have 50 degrees, 50 degrees. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> 90 degrees in the elbow. Don't know where I got 50 degrees from. And also the hand can swivel. So I think that's pretty nice. A lot of articulation on this hand. With this one, there's definitely less. It can swivel up and down, just like the other shoulder. And then you only have the 90 degrees at the elbow, plus the swivel there. Like, this is one solid piece. But I think it, it works. I mean, you can extend it out. You can have it go up. You can swivel it a little bit out to the side. Swivel it a little back. It looks pretty good. Can you swivel it across the body? No. But it's still a decent amount of articulation for one solid piece at the arm there. And then for the uh, hips, it can go a little bit out to the side, but it's kind of hindered by the kind of extension piece here for the waist. Uh, but you can also go front, then you have 90 degrees, pretty much 90 degrees at the knee. And then you have a little ball joint in the ankle, which is pretty cool. So I think there's a decent amount of articulation in this thing. I definitely think it's better than the Plesio Charge Megazord action figure. Uh, I mean, I personally like it better than the Dino Charge action figure, the Dino Charge Megazord, but that's just personal preference. I still think the Dino Charge Megazord figure was an excellent figure. I just, I really like this. The color scheme is great, the paint's pretty decent, and the articulation is pretty good. I have to say I really do like all five of these figures. I think there's not a bad one in the bunch. If I had to pick an absolute, you know, my bottom of the five, I guess I would say purple, but only because the hard molded skirt really limits her leg articulation. She can kind of stand in that pose and really you can just move her arms around. Uh, it doesn't make her a bad figure. I would just say out of these five, she's probably the worst. Uh, but I really like all these figures. The paint's done well. The articulation still holds up. It's just five really, really fun figures. So let me know what you guys think in the comments below. I'd love to hear your opinions. Please like and share this video. Please subscribe if you haven't already. I hope you liked this look at these five figures from the Dino Supercharged line. And thanks for watching.